social consequences of addiction to gaming. The development of video games at first seems like a harmless invention, but it can lead to addiction and even more so, social problems. This story will be about Oscar Flowers, an addictive gamer that has a whole world in front of him, but he only plays video games. So, Oscar, when did you first start playing video games? When I was 12. Okay. I got hooked on it, never stopped playing it ever since. Have there been cases where you just couldn't go out and socialize because of video games? My friend's quinceanera, I stepped out of it because I wanted to play. Oscar even used to have a girlfriend who he used to hang out with until he got back into his addiction to gaming. And despite being able to hang out with her, he never did because of video games taking priority. Not only did it affect his personal relationships with his family and his partner, it also affected his people skills. How many times do you think that you just didn't know what to say during a conversation with someone? This is my lunch. Oh, okay. Oscar is not doing well. He rarely plays video games, and now he spends his time looking for jobs and talking to friends. JJ Valadez is another addicted gamer who I met, but he is still in school. GG, um, when did you start playing video games? When I was very young. So, um, how many times do you get invited to parties but you just don't go to because you're playing video games or you want to play video games? I get invited to parties several times. I don't want to go because I'd rather be playing video games than socializing with other people. Now, JG actually communicates with people during school and makes friends.